possibility of some kind of dialogue now. Now, let me just let's eavesdrop on what my colleague Greg Milam, who's currently hosting the multimedia debate about gun control, who's brought together people from all over the USA online. Let's just hear what's happening. Yeah, Martin, uh, people from Oregon, Wyoming, Connecticut, Colorado, New Mexico and West Virginia are in a pretty spirited debate, a lot of views, as you'd imagine, across this huge uh, country. And I want to go to, to, connect, to Connecticut, actually, and Cheryl Rice, who uh, one of those people with a lot of interesting views. And Cheryl, I wonder if you think, as a result of what we've heard tonight and what's been going on in the last few days, whether you think anything will change uh, in the months to come, bearing in mind what the president said today. Um, well, as, as we were talking about a little earlier, I do think that uh, something feels different this time. It does feel like this might have been the tipping point to get something done. Now, I, I don't know how widespread it will be. I think um, that the assault weapons ban probably will be reinstated, which is a, a major move forward from my point of view. It's a major move forward. Um, I think the discussion uh, has become much more serious and uh, the deaths of this many children, I think, has moved people on all sides, all sides of this debate. So um, I, I hope and pray that things are going to get better. It seems like we're moving in the right direction. And Dave um, Powell in West Virginia, what's, what's your, in summary, what's your view of, of that same point, whether anything will change? I would just say, uh, anyone who sees this, take a look at the rates of death by handguns or by any guns in all the other industrialized countries, and then take a look at what we have here in the United States and really think about, do you need a handgun? Do you need an assault gun that is designed to kill people? Can't you have uh, uh, sporting weapons, hunting guns, and uh, what is our national obsession with these type of weapons? And they are not necessary to fulfill the Second Amendment. Erica and Napolitano in Colorado, uh, if I can ask you, first of all, what's, what's your view of whether we will see results? I think we have a long road ahead of us. There's no argument there, but... Um... I maintain hope and I'm one of the people who has a voice and I started a petition on we the people on whitehouse.gov to make the call to action to get our federal government to pay attention and take action on the state of mental illness and the state of mental health care in this, this country. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep yelling but with that yelling is going to come along action and advocacy and participation in my local community and my state. and. I, I hope there are more people like me who are going to participate and not just yell. Rosalinda in New Mexico, you've given us a demonstration of why you need a gun. Do you, do you think things need to change now? Um, I don't want to see the Second Amendment repealed in any way. Um, do I think there needs to be change? Um, I, agreed with, I agree with the woman that came before me talking about mental health uh, focus. Obviously, that's a critical component here, um, but I do not agree with the gentleman that spoke before her that um, guns need to be outlawed. And you know, I I also covered during my my years in broadcasting many people who killed kids with cars and in swimming pools. And I'm I'm not saying it's the same thing. I'm just saying uh, a blanket statement like. The gentleman made is um i think missing the point um i do think there are some people okay that we're going to leave greg and the team there the debate won't end this week president obama said as much thank you for watching our special program